Bonjour les amis, I am Bruno Albouz. Let's talk about one of a kind, a crispy almond cookie specialty from Côte sur Ciel, my grandma's village. A mouthful of flavors, toasted almonds, a light flavor of caramel similar to nougatine, an intense crispy texture. It reminds me of my childhood so much. Col sur Ciel is located near Albi in southern France on the river Tarn, 85 kilometers northeast of Toulouse. The episcopal city around the Cathedral Saint Cecile was recently added to the UNESCO. This traditional recipe has only four ingredients sugar, flour, egg whites, and almonds. There is a legend which attributes its creation to Mother Board in the 17th century. To make it gluten-free, substitute flour for almond flour. Let's get to work. First, I am going to toast my almonds. Gorgeous knife. So what you're looking for here is to chop them roughly. You want to have these big pieces left into the cookie. I can smell the flavor from the toasted almonds. It's awesome. That's it, not thinner than that. You know, when I was younger during my uh, summer break, I used to work in different places along the uh, Atlantic uh, coast uh, near Bordeaux or in my grandma's village. I remember making hundreds of croquants every day. <laughs> what a time. First, almond. Two, I'm gonna add sugar. Three, sifted all purpose flour. So dry ingredients first, nothing complicated. And then, just wanna mix this up. So this is the base of the recipe. You can actually make this in advance. And then, egg whites and vanilla. Very simple. That's it. Next, I'm going to spoon this out into little portions and bake them. These are awesome for any occasions. You can even offer them as a gift and you can uh, dip them in coffee, tea, uh, chocolate, mocha, uh, into your ice cream. It is just so good. So it doesn't matter if some look bigger than others. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's like a rustic, very rustic, old fashioned cookies that was made 300 years ago. Well, I'm gonna bake these beauties at 425 degrees Fahrenheit, around 210 Celsius, for about 12 to 15 minutes. and see what happens. So right after baking, you want to transfer them over a flat surface to cool down completely. It's incredible. I hope guys you enjoyed this fantastic recipe. Please subscribe, like me on Facebook, and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Pinterest. Bon appétit and see you next time.